Hi everyone, thanks for staying up with us on this Wednesday night. I'm Glenn Cassie. And I'm Lauren Maloney. Burlington Mayor Moreau Weinberger and city staff unveil proposals for housing reform in the Queen City. A planning commission meeting last week offered a preview of sorts, but now Burlingtonians are responding to those proposals. Local 22's Mike Hoey joins us now with more. Hi Mike. Oh, hi, Lauren and Glenn. Some people who spoke their minds tonight aren't sure the measures will do as much as advertised, while some others are concerned that they might do too much. A measure proposed for the town meeting day ballot next March would raise the tax rate for Burlington's housing trust fund. The city is also looking at removing parking minimums for new housing downtown and on seven busy streets. A third reform would make it easier to build an accessory dwelling unit, an apartment on the same property as a single family home. Mayumi Cornell isn't optimistic that these reforms, especially one regulating short term rental units, would go far enough. I know of an Airbnb, Airbnb that's right downtown that somebody I know is renting, you know, and it's right next to Penny Flues, you know. I mean, that's prime real estate right there. That's somebody that could have a home that, you know, that had to move somewhere else. She says she personally knows people that are being priced out of the Queen City, and she's worried about homeless Burlingtonians. They're being ignored and they're being pushed away, you know, and... They're human beings, and I understand that sometimes they cause problems, but they're causing problems because they feel helpless and they feel hopeless. Mayor Moreau Weinberger pointed out Wednesday night, housing reform conversations have been taking place in Burlington since the 80s when Bernie Sanders was mayor. The city has been continuing to pass the buck for decades now, and it's gotten worse and worse and worse. And so, and not only has it gotten worse and worse, they've pushed the onus onto the people who are least able to bear the burden. According to Erica Reddick, who moved back to the city last November from Los Angeles, that can often mean landlords like herself. And I think a lot of property owners in the New North End will tell you that we don't get heard. And the initiatives that you see in the city don't help us. So the all the bike lanes getting painted everywhere, that doesn't help me but I paid for it. Reddick specifically brought up a proposal to mandate energy efficiency improvements in rental housing. I would be able to do that if, for example, I wasn't in court fighting the city over a zoning issue about the fact that the house is a triplex and not a duplex. Now, after reviewing the feedback from tonight and consideration by the city's planning commission, Mayor Weinberger says he intends to bring housing reform measures to the city council sometime next month. Live in the studio, Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. A Moncton man is 